Hi friends, welcome to Nessa's Nook. So today I'm going to make you a video. <clears throat> I have made this video in the past, I believe, but I didn't go through all the whole detail. Um, I'm sure anybody who's been watching me for any length of time knows that I actually have the one black granite sink. If you're wondering if I would buy another black granite sink, the answer is no. Um, I like the way it looks. It's pretty. It's, it's, it's nice. It's really nice. However, because of the process you have to go through to make this look really clean and shiny that doesn't last for very long, maybe a couple days depending on how much you use your sink, it's really, to me, it's not worth it. It's just a lot easier just to take some Barkeeper's Friend, clean out your stainless steel, and that would be a done deal. Now, would I stay with a one sink sink? Absolutely, hands down, that would be the, that's the idea. So, what I've been doing is I kind of let the sink go for a couple days because I wanted to show you me actually cleaning it. I have a little container here that holds my soap that needs to be cleaned out and everything. All this needs to be cleaned out. I did buy one of these like little toothbrushes things to help get around these areas it's hard to get to. So hopefully that will help um, in the areas I just can't really reach very well. And um, then I also have this thing that holds at the side of my sink for um, like my... Uh, things to clean out my Vidalia choppers. And if you don't have one of these or something like this, this one's a pampered shelf. But you know like how when you get burnt on stuff and you let it soak there for a while, you just could scrape most of the burnt out stuff right out and it's a done deal and it's clean. So I'm going to bring you down here. I'm going to show you what I usually do here without tipping over the camera. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start with cleaning this. All right, this isn't too bad. I cleaned it about a week ago. But I try to try to keep this clean. I mean, it does get a little bit dirty. And you can see like below there, like I said, I've been letting the whole sink go. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of Dawn in here. Get my rag out, turn on my water. This cleans up really, really easy. Um, and I'm sure this would work very well for even a sink that has, you know, the two things. I just really like this because it's, to me, it's very easy. And I like having the stuff drained down instead of having um, water just everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and be able to throw this stuff back in here. Like I said, this was just a very easy clean. This thing happens to clean potatoes and stuff, and that's pretty good, that's nice. And just toss this all over to the side. Now, obviously I'm going to let that one area, well, you know what, let me grab my little thing here. As you can see, something got underneath there, it's kind of hard. I'm not for sure if you can really see that. It's, it's right here. But you know what I'm saying, you take that little thing that just comes right up. I think that was an onion or something. So one of the first things I do is you're not supposed to put any um, strong chemicals. You know, like some people will put um, oven cleaner and stuff in there and stuff. You definitely don't do this with a black granite. All right. And go ahead and wipe down this back area too. I'm wiping off my windowsill and stuff. Get this area all nice and clean. Right. And then all I have to do is you just start cleaning down the sink really well. And what you'll be putting on there is some mineral oil. And I of course wash out my sink a couple times a day, but it's still, you know, gets dirty and I knew I wanted to do that video today so I was kind of not cleaning it as much as I probably should have yesterday um, this is my soap dispenser and of course then I clean the sink and the handle and I always clean the whole wand part And then this right here 
is my instant hot water. So if you're watching any of my videos and I tell you I get the water from the sink, this is filtered water. And then this right here is my, I can't really see it, is my cold water, which is also filtered. All right. So what I'm going to do is get this a little bit wet here, throw a little bit of Dawn on here. Now these only run like, I don't know, $15 or so. But I don't know for sure if you can see. There's like a little space here that I want to try to get a little bit cleaner. It doesn't matter what I've tried to use. It doesn't seem like that comes very clean. And then do the same thing on the instant hot water. And around the steam faucet. And like I said, I try to keep this all very clean. Um, I don't like having a dirty kitchen. I mean, I'm sure, you know, my kitchen's not up to par for some people, but it's a lot cleaner than probably a lot of people's kitchens. Um, it just grosses me out when people have a cooking channel and their stuff is just gross. It's not my kitchen. I don't have to eat their food, so I don't really care. But it's gross nonetheless. Now, that didn't take that out all the way. I could probably sit there and scrub that a little bit more. But since I have the water here and I haven't cleaned the sink, I go ahead and clean out this. I just holds my um, dish soap and it holds my um, homemade uh, stainless steel cleaner, or glass cleaner, whatever you want to call it. I should make up a new batch of that today too and just have that be two small videos. But this makes it nice. Um, everything can get all cleaned all at once and put back together and everything is all everything is all good here let me try to wipe this all down because I'm going to want to dry this and I don't know for sure what is up with the sink um, I don't remember my other sinks always getting my shirts this <laughs> wet but I'm going to go ahead and use a towel and dry this off. I'm going to put this back just a little so you can see more what I'm doing here. And no matter what I do, I manage to always get my window wet. So you're going to want to try to keep this dried off. I'm going to have to work on that with, I don't know for sure what, to get that off there. But you're going to want to keep, get your sink about as dry as you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry this down. And then I'm going to put this on pause for just a minute and finish, let, and finish letting it dry. And then I'll show you the rest of this. Now, like I said, this only lasts maybe a couple days at max. But when you do it, it looks nice. And your sink looks really pretty, so I'll be right back. All right, and so anyone who has been watching me for a length of time, you will hardly ever see me use paper towels. Um, to me, paper towels are incredibly wasteful. Um, I usually use my microfibers, but um, for this job, the microfibers actually stick to this black granite. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start at the top and go around all of the stuff here on the top, except for where I'm leaning over, of course. And get everything nice and oiled up here. Now I do actually oil the faucet, the handles. I mean, I don't oil the, um, the, the nickel plated stuff because that would just be silly all right
And then what you want to do is if you are watching this video, I am going to make a new batch of the cleaner that I use with rubbing alcohol Dawn and Water. It's probably one of the most inexpensive ones you could possibly make and it works really well. All right, that's looking really good. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the oil all over the whole entire sink and the sides and everywhere except for where I'm leaning in the sink because I don't want this oil all over my shirt. I stained my shirt enough as it is. <laughs> I don't want to have to clean my shirts more than I already have to. So what I try to do is I don't know for sure if that's what you're supposed to do, but what I try to do is in here is I try to let this set for about five minutes or so, and I don't know for sure if that makes a difference or doesn't make a difference, but I'd let that try to let set in there. So, and this I'll go ahead and wipe the front now. Um, so this way it has a chance to soak in. See how much prettier the sink already is? So when I come back, I'll wipe that down with another piece of paper towel and show you the finished product. All right, so that's set there for a good five minutes. What I'm just gonna do is now is just wipe off the excess. I mean, you can see how nice and shiny this has gotten. And like I said, I really wish it would stay this shiny. Then I would really, really love the sink. <laughs> I mean, I kind of knew that going in that it wouldn't stay shiny, but I thought it was just somebody else's sink that it never stayed shiny. But I mean, isn't that just almost like complete night and day? So I'm going to go ahead and take and put my cleaner that I just made in another video. I need to refill up my Dawn. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in this little thing back in the sink, stretch that back out, and everything is all ready to go and, you know, makes for a very nice clean sink until I go ahead and do this again. Um, I'm still going to let this go for a little bit. I might re-wipe this back down, so I'll keep one of my rags out, but... This looks just so much better. Um, like I said, I really like the way this shines once it's actually clean. So yes, this only stays for a couple days. So if you're wondering, that is all it really stays, but it looks really pretty right now. So thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful day.